Welcome back students. This is unit seven, lesson two. And let's review who can guess what this right here is called from yesterday's activity. Is it a row? Is it a column? Or is it an array? That's right, this is an example of an array. And an array is created with equal groups of columns and rows. So we can look at this array, and today we're going to learn about this word, partition. We have partition, partition. And so what we can see here is a little bit of the meaning. And so I'm gonna put a box right here. This is part. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna learn how to partition an array to make equal groups. And we're going to talk about halves, quarters, and thirds. All right, we're gonna talk about halves, quarters, and thirds. All right, so we're gonna be looking at this array right here, and we're going to first learn halves. Right, so we are gonna look at the word halves, and we know from all of our grammar lessons that there's a letter that changes to a V when we make it plural, and that is an F. So half is what we're gonna look at. We're gonna look at this array and try to break it or partition it, put it into two equal parts. Half means two equal parts. And we can do that in many different ways. So we can look here and I can see, ah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I know that if I have two groups of three, that makes six. Three and three is a double fact for six. So I can make it right there. I'm gonna erase my little dots here. And I can see that these groups right here are cut equally. I can see that there's three right here and there's four here. Those are equal, those three here and there's four here. So those are the same. And I can break that in half to show that. And if I wanted, we can go back and we can use a nice big color. I'm gonna still keep it with blue that I'm shading in half right here. So we can better see, yep, that's about equal. Those are an example of half. Now, there's sometimes more than one way we can cut things in half. We can also look at it going the other way. So we went vertically the first time, but let's go horizontal. Here's one, two, three, four. Ah, okay. So a double fact of four is two and two. So we could also say, uh-huh, I could cut it there. There's two rows here, and how many columns? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can do that. I can look at it and say, aha, this is an equal part. So in half, we've created two equal parts. We've cut that array in half. There might be some other ways. So I'm gonna take this coloring apart step by step and I want you to look to see if there are any other ways that you can partition this array in half. With a little bit of time, could we also do it this way? Is that half? Hmm. Let's look at another color. If I did it this way, that would work. We did it this way, okay? So there's lots of different ways that we can show half. All right, so we're looking at another array and remember our vocabulary word is partition, meaning to break apart into equal groups, into parts. Okay, we just talked about halves, and now we're going to look at thirds. Hmm, I see a number, an ordinal number in that word, third, and it looks like this. 
and I know that third represents the number three. So we're going to group this into three partitions or three parts. All right, so we're looking at this array and we're looking for equal groups, three equal groups to break it up. Now I know I can't go this way um, in columns because that would be four, okay? But let's look at the rows. Do we have groups of three? Yes, we do, we absolutely do. So when we look at this, I can see this is three groups. So if I want to partition it into three, I'm going to show thirds by saying this is one of the three groups, this is one of the three groups, okay? So here I have shaded it in to equal groups of three, three equal groups. All right, now we're going to go to another example. Again, going back to our big word partition, here we're going to break into parts. This time, we're going to partition by fourths. I see the ordinal number fourth, which means four parts. Okay, so as we look at this array again, we now need to shade it in into fourths. Okay, and we noticed that in our columns there were four of them so if we shade one this is a fourth that is a fourth and then the other two white ones both here here and here are also fourths. so we've shaded in groups of fourths now we're going to look at this array and we're going to see if we can partition it into halves, thirds, and fourths. So remember, halves is two equal groups, thirds is th three equal groups, and fourths is four equal groups. All right, so let's look at this array and we're going to break it apart into halves, thirds, and fourths. Let's start with halves. All right, when we're looking at two equal groups, we can see here that we have four columns and how many rows? Six. I know that four and six are both even numbers, so therefore we know that they can be broken up either way into two equal numbers. So I can see here that four has a double fact of two. Two and two equals four. So a half has a double fact. So there's one way and here's the other half. This shows that half of the array is in purple and half of the array is in orange. Two columns of purple, two columns of orange. Now I also remember I said here that we also have an even number of rows, six total. So what's the double fact to equal six? That's right, three. So we have one, two, three, and we can shade that in purple. The other rows of three. And does that represent two equal portions of that array? Or does that show halves? Is that array cut in half? Yes, it is. Half is purple, half is orange. Now let's look at thirds. So we need to make sure that we are grouping this equally into three groups. All right, so we have four columns and we have six rows. Can four be broken into three equal groups? No, but if we think about six, could that be broken into equal groups? Let's just see if we can do this on this side with a different color. If I think of six, two, 
four, six. That's three groups. So I'm really thinking that's going to help us with thirds. So let's go back to our purple and let's shade in this group of two because I know when counting by twos, I can get to six. And that's three groups of two. So I can see that those represent thirds. And now I have shaded in my array into three equal groups or thirds. So that represents thirds. All right, now we're gonna look at fourths. So I need to really think about four equal groups using this array. All right, and I remember that there were four columns. So I can make one column to represent one of the four right here. So this is a fourth. This is a fourth. This is a fourth. And this is a fourth. So I have now taken this array and turned it into fourths. I cannot evenly break up the six rows by four evenly. So this is the only way that I can do a representation of fourths. So here's your final review. This entire shape is called an array. This right here is a row. This right here is a column. When we are looking at halves, that's two equal groups. Thirds is three equal groups. And fourths is four equal groups. Great job, mathematicians. Now you can do this work independently.